Howdy folks, Rob Maximum RD here. And this video is another quick one, hopefully. Um, not planned. So we can get it in focus here. And I would like to talk to you about something that we all have to uh, be wary of with our being retro collectors and collecting classic systems. One of those things, of course, is maintaining them and keeping them functioning properly as we encounter problems here and there. This I was uh, noticing. Fortunately, I noticed it before trying to use it during some uh, sorting the other day as I was down in the storage and um, let's see how hopefully you can see this clearly but uh, the port here the nine pin port has a bent pin right there and that's not good that's not good for for anyone um, yeah if you tried to shove a controller gamepad in there what have you uh, you would only do it further damage. So, unfortunately, I do not have what I would like to have, which is a pair of long, thin needle nose pliers to do this. So I'm just going to have to make do with what I do have. In this case, a flathead um, I guess it's like a jeweler's uh, screwdriver here. Very thin and tiny. And looking at the bent pin here. Now I brought this up from storage and it was pretty much freezing at the time. So I didn't attempt it then because I, I worried that if I tried to bend one of these pins back in place that it would just end up snapping off and keeping that in mind the age of these items of course you know the wear and tear and the parts becoming more brittle so you really want to take your time and not be too much uh, too much in a rush just do a a good job so I don't know how this got bent in the first place I don't think it was from putting a controller in there. Possibly because of the way I have all my items stored. Maybe something pushed in on it and uh, caused this damage. Because I'm usually pretty careful in, um, in use of not doing things like this. So again, this is not the best way. As I always say, just because I do something doesn't mean it's the way you should do it. <laughs> again, using proper long needle nose pliers would probably be better than what I'm doing. But I'm going to try take my time and get that pin back in the proper position. And you want it to look Let's take the time, take the time. Because if this snaps off, well then I'm pretty much screwed. Let's see. No, still a ways to go. Yeah, something must have got jammed in there during storage because I definitely would have noticed had this damaged occurred with my use and I know things that I didn't maybe own in the back back in the day ah I definitely maintained properly so I'm not sure how this happened but No sense worrying about it now. Just try to fix the problem. Oh, the pin's still strong because I'm having a heck of a time bending it back into place. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, I think that's about right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pins, four on the bottom. Okay, that looks like to match this port right here. Nine pins. And nine pins. It looks about right now. So, just to uh, confirm that they are aligned properly. Now, this is the popular, I believe it's the called a DB9 port. Um, anyway, yeah, nine pins. We know this from way back, even on the Atari 2600, the joysticks, the paddles. But uh, then, you know, even long after that, from your 3DO to your, uh, even your Sega Genesis, all still use the basic nine pin configuration for controllers and jacks. So what I'm going to do is, well, let's see, try it in the good port for sure. And this is the actual controller that comes with it, but pretty much any nine pin type gamepad or joystick would be fine. So we plug that in. So that plugged in, no problem. Pull it out carefully. I said pull it out carefully. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to try it in the port that I just straightened. Now if I have, if it feels like there's any trouble with this pushing in, then I will stop. But uh, seems to seems to have gone in all the way. Now I'll do testing later. I'm not set up to do it right away in this video, but there. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's plugged all the way in there. As you can see. All right. So now I'll take this back out, and later, well, when I find the. Uh, <laughs> proper power adapter. I'll stick my Harmony cartridge in there. That way I can try a variety of different games. From paddle games to regular joystick games. And uh, yeah, it plugged in and as you can see the nine pins are still in the right order. So hopefully that's uh, back to or I should say, hopefully that's aligned properly. And I will test it a little bit later, but uh, it's just something to keep in mind, uh, especially, you know, when you're separating your controllers and your consoles, you're storing them, you're moving them around. Uh, unfortunately, because of lack of space and poor storage options, I pretty much have to jam everything together in, in boxes. But uh, I did notice this. Um, thankful that at least I noticed it uh, before attempting to use it and uh, straightened straighten those pins properly all right so yeah just something to keep in mind be careful because you don't you don't want to uh, break off any of those pins it can be replaced it can be fixed there's replacement parts still I believe you can source out uh, replacements either just the part themselves or maybe salvage from other older consoles what have you but of course to prevent it in the first place is always best so there you have it a nine a pin straightening tutorial i guess you can say in, in some some way uh that was on my coleco gemini I'll be taking more of a look at this later on it's one of the um, options to play Atari 2600 compatible titles. Very sturdy little unit. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely take a closer look at this at some point later on. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Rob, Maximum RD out. Just, uh, just thought I'd throw that video together while I was doing it anyways. Um, holidays are approaching. Things are getting a little crazy. But I hope you're all having a good time, enjoying the holidays, getting time off, spending with friends and family, uh, whether in person or online. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon with another video. Rob Maximum RD out. Bye-bye.